The simplest classic chain of events for the first act is life routine, inciting incident, declaration of objective, and entrance into the second act. Often, the statement of the objective is blunt. Listen, for instance, to Hamlet in William Shakespeare's play. And thy commandment, all alone, shall live within the book and volume of my brain, unmixed with baser matter. Thy commandment, as you remember, is to avenge Hamlet's father. In Raiders of the Lost Ark, written by Lawrence Kasdan, George Lucas, and Philip Kaufman, Indiana Jones is clearly given a mission. This is the equivalent of a statement of objective. You did it, didn't you? They want you to go for it. Oh, Marcus! They want you to get a hold of the Ark before the Nazis do, and they're prepared to pay handsomely for it. And the museum? The museum gets the Ark when we're finished. Oh, yes. But sometimes, the way we understand the protagonist's objective and the way we enter into the second act are handled differently. For instance, in Rear Window, written by John Michael Hayes after a short story by Cornell Woolrich. I, I, just, I just can't figure it. He went out several times last night in the rain carrying his sample case. Well, he's a salesman, isn't he? Well, what would he be selling at 3 o'clock in the morning? Flashlights. Luminous dials for watches. House numbers that light up. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think he was taking something out of the apartment. Uh-huh. His personal effects. Goodbye, Mr. Jeffrey. See you tomorrow. Uh-huh. And don't sleep in that chair again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Great conversationalist. Stella, so, take those binoculars out of the case and bring them here, will you? Trouble. I can smell it. Glad when they crack that cast and I can get out of here. Uh-huh. By grabbing a pair of binoculars, Jeff is clearly saying he wants to find out. He's stating his objective. On the part of the writers, it is a subtle way to launch the action. See what Jeff's girlfriend has to say about it a few minutes later in the narrative. Jeff, if you could only see yourself. What's the matter? Sitting around looking out at the window to kill time is one thing, but doing it the way you are with binoculars and, and wild opinions about every little thing you see is, is disease. What do you think I consider it recreation? In other words, looking out of a window to kill time is a first act activity, whereas observing people through binoculars is a second act activity. Hats off to the screenwriters. Mm -hmm.